This morning, when I was walking down the street toward the trail, a kid part of me made a sound out loud, like a grumbly groan, and it sort of brought me back to my body in the present, and I'm looking around, and nobody was around me, and I was grateful for that. Usually when parts of me who are really clearly not adult um, make noises or talk out loud, I'm at home alone, and I find it really embarrassing if I am so dissociated that I'm not noticing that it's happening where people can hear me. I do not want that to happen. But I was listening to music in my head that a part of me was playing, and I was thinking how it's strange that I can hear the music and I can hear the voice of the singer, but I can't always hear the words because we don't remember the words. And that's what I was thinking about when that kid made that noise. And so I'm asking afterward, like, hey, why did you make that noise? Why are you upset? And the kid's saying, and this is a common refrain from them, we don't get to play enough, and you work all the time, and it's boring, and I want to play, and I want to play, and we don't get to have fun. I do need to make a change and work with everyone inside, and fun is really important, and so is play. I did say, or some part of me did, like, do you remember that we read, like, a graphic novel yesterday that was, like, for kids, and we read a book that was for kids? And the kid's going, hmm, yeah. It's fun. It's not enough. <laughs> but it's, it is good to have a balance of play and work. And I know that. And it's, I appreciate that the kids remind me. I just wish that it wasn't happening while I was walking outside on the street where people could hear me. I am really glad there was nobody nearby.